hello traders it's samurai trade here another fantastic day trading the NQ and the ES so I'm going to be recapping some trading opportunities this will be very relevant to my members and also I'm going to make this a general public recording as well now for my members watching this I'll be doing a more detailed breakdown of uh, a lot of these setups and uh, in the members recording that which I'll also be posting this morning on the drive so you'll be able to go on there very shortly and see this or three see the let me get this right the detailed members video uh, if you're new to my channel you'll see that I have to by law put the disclaimer up every time I do a recording so please feel free if you need to to stop the recording and just to read the disclaimer uh, all of the setups that I cover here today are all comprehensively covered in a day traders fast track program which is the world's most comprehensive program for day and swing traders so please go to my website to gain more information about the day traders fast track program and subscribe to my channel of course so you can be kept up to date with all of my latest recordings and training videos so let's get into it traders I want to show you a couple of slides and we'll go directly to the charts first of all what is absolutely critical for you to succeed as a trader you must have a compelling future you know they say you'd, you know if you've got a compelling future you can move mountains and it's just so important that you have a really good um, a set of goals you know, you've got a vision board you've got all of that that is absolutely critical to succeed as a trader now we know that over 70 percent of the day traders fast track members are experienced traders and many have come to me after losing two or three accounts and one of the things I really want to emphasize you've got to have a compelling future look at the past as a learning experience it's now uh, a time if you like to turn over a new leaf and to approach it with the zeal of a crusader because you can learn this you can but you need to be willing to put the time in and create this compelling future now very quickly if you start off with a five thousand dollars capital and you're earning just two hundred dollars a day just two hundred a day that's four five tick um, trades on the ES or that's three six tick trades on the ES that's a little over two hundred dollars and every time you double your money that is you're earning a thousand dollars a week you buy another contract you can see by 25 weeks at the 25 week level you're earning fifty two thousand dollars a week if you're that way inclined now I do have to say this traders is the psychological pressure when you're have got such a large risk for an example at that level all right there's very few traders at that level however to be earning five ten fifteen thousand a week is very realistic and most traders can handle that for an example at week 10 uh, you've got uh, you're earning three thousand dollars a week you're trading four contracts that's uh, you know a, a great income three to four thousand a week at that sort of level that is a reality and of course the younger traders and I say that no insult hey I'm 56 okay guys um, and ladies I should say that you know when we get uh, to our middle age we're going to be more conservative you know if you're earning 10 to 20 grand that gives you a really comfortable lifestyle some of the younger traders may want to be earning their 40 50 100 200 thousand a week well that is the possibility as a trader okay that you know starting to look at this it can help you create that compelling future which is really important now I saw this little uh, picture and sorry it's a bit blurry there you can't deposit excuses I love this one um, traders I'm dealing with traders every day of the week seven days a week seriously I receive emails Skype meetings I do private coaching etc you can't deposit excuses stop coming up with the excuses why you can't do it stay in sim if it takes you three or four months you know take your comprehensive notes you can do it but don't give me excuses and don't give yourself excuses don't short change yourself you can master this art after a period of time all right off my high horse let's get into this now in today's session I'm going to be showing you the power of using the higher time frame and once again executing on your EC chart that is your entry chart now what's really important here is of course 
when I teach you the setups in the day traders fast track program there are now probably about 14 different setups or strategies that we have remembering you only need three or four of these so you want to become a specialist that's really important as you gain time or gain experience over time of course you can expand that and in the end you'll probably be including virtually every setup we have but you don't have to learn them all at once so you know once again sit back relax you, you know you're not going to be swamped take your time and that's one of the biggest challenges is traders not giving themselves enough time to master this art but it can be mastered in time so what's really important is this point here if the high time frame and the EC signals the entry chart signals are at odds pass on the trade remembering you only need three to four net trades a day to become very wealthy and financially secure for life so that's the biggest challenge for traders is sitting on their hands and waiting for those trades now as you all know or all my members know that I have this posted on my wall above my screens here I'm patient I'm disciplined I'm focused I'm a sniper one shot one kill I'm a rules-based pattern trader that is I'm looking for patterns patterns make it very very easy for us to pick up in the market so that's the big thing is to develop that patience that you need so the trades I'm going to be talking about today are scalping trades so typically scalping is what we call a volatility trade and uh, all of my members know this and for the general public I'm only after typically four to six ticks on the ES and 10 to 14 ticks um, on the NQ so I'm in and out now I prefer that because that works well for my style now some of you might like to trade uh, higher time frame charts and to be in longer go for a higher profit target well look I like to um, buy dips sell rallies and so that just works for me personally so once again if you look at these and say if you're looking at my um, charts for the first time you might say well what am I getting in and out uh, on a regular basis for well that hey that works for me because once you get a pullback I can always re-enter and with brokerage you know around the four dollar mark you know it's peanuts to get back in again that's what works so uh, sorry what was this one thing I wanted to show okay so you know the big thing is are my EMAs trending are they fanning so my members know what that means and uh, do the 8 21 34 EMAs confirm the higher time on the higher time frame confirm so let's go and have a look now at some trading opportunities now uh, once again traders uh, this will work with your trade we've got a lot of stock traders now uh, a lot of traders that uh, are using options so looking at the stocks uh, these setups work once again on every market now what I might change at various times of course here I've got a range candle here this is a full range which means uh, each one of these candles is worth 20 20 dollars my members know I like the 133 tick but you know it comes down to personal preferences it doesn't matter a whole lot you could use Renko here if you wished so the important thing is though is this is the trade setups themselves so what I've got here is an NQ NQ one range and this is from today's price action this is around 8:50 a.m. Uh, uh, Chicago time so traders uh, for my members you know we've got a nice t20 there now what I wanted to show you here was this on the right hand side is my higher time frame now I like to have the higher time frame on it's above my screen when I look at the higher time frame it's above my upper screen but here if you're running with one screen you can see here it fits mighty fine okay so and you can see here this line here is plotting over here so we've got uh, you know prices accelerated here for what we call our t3 or our t89 just there and we can see that is this here so where we've got this happening right there as long as I've got a nice it's a nice engulfing candle you have got price separating that is a really nice t3 setting up we then have our t20 and away we go you've got here you've got a t25 you've got a, another pullback for a t25 if I look back down here at my lower uh, chart here at my stochastics we can see here I've got a t10 a t2 a t2 
technically a t2 but notice the angulation of how far you're moving away from your EMAs yeah but what I do want to show you is that notice here I'm fairly well keeping what I call my charts clean all I've got here is my EMAs <coughs> pardon me a stochastic on the bottom and my floor pivots I don't have anything there looking for divergence because traders what I want to teach you is you know every you've got all the information here is what you need give me the pivots give me the uh, EMAs and that's all I really need okay because we can trade pure price action with our weight our 21 our 34 our 89 and our 200 and combine with the higher time frame so let's have a look at uh, this chart here so we can see we've got a pullback here and we can see it here we've got a bounce on our 200 so a nice full candle and this trade went nowhere you've got uh, actually a t3 set up and you would have been stopped on this trade now you do have angulation and hey you're not going to get them all we then had a nice t25 t2 that would have been a nice winner for you and you've got one over here which is a 34b so let's keep moving on and what I wanted to show you here is this let me just uh, get these here is looking at the candle formation okay on my higher time frame what direction are my EMAs in okay they're in a definite downtrend which tells me what trade to the short side now to be conservative if you want to wait for your candles on your higher time frame here this particular candle here confirmed there for us that is you want the candles on your higher time frame to be in the direction of your entry chart of course so if you like everything is confirming they're all working together so let's just scroll along a little more here okay we can see here we uh, punch straight through the pivot but you can see here we had a little bit of uh, uh, pressure here let me just um, come along here for you uh, let me just move this along so on the right hand side there we can see uh, the high time frame there we can see here price accelerated right away get right away from our weight look at that angulation okay look at our then uh, down here on our entry chart we had a fantastic t3 no doubt we would have had divergence uh, so let me just mark this up here and if you wanted to be conservative waiting to here or even over here look at that there you had a beautiful t3 which followed through now traders be very wary in trading against the t3 when you have a mean reversion trade that is where price action has moved well away from the EMAs usually it means we'll get an overcorrection to the upside or to the downside of course quite often it's a change in market direction at least for the short term so you'll see these uh, accelerate away and look at that look at our 200 look at this big gap so remember re mean reversion means or reversion of a mean we're going to fling back the other way which is exactly what happened so we can see here our long term has gone up you had a t10 a t2 you've got a t25 there you could see so you've got multiple and of course a t20 now traders remember with the t20s if price has moved too far away from your EMAs wait for a pullback and a bounce on the EMAs there is your re-entry at t20-1 so let's move right along here this is the stack of trades today what I wanted to show you was this here and let me just get this right on my high time frame okay now technically you could say okay do we take this as a 200 EMA bounce we, we can see here all of our EMAs are in a heading up and virtually we've got a t7 set up here and for the general public these are codes that we use it just makes it easy to communicate with the different types of setups but you get cheat sheets on all of the key setups and of course this comprehensive training so you learn all of these setups very very quickly and if you look over to your higher time frame so let's have a look at this here look at this here look at the acceleration of the 8 the 34 is rolled the 21 is up to go against that you're trading against all of these EMAs and all of these now we do know some of these occasionally do follow through my long-term stochastic is overbought 
okay so you can just see here the risk of taking this trade it just pays you to sit aside and sure enough it failed and you had then a nice 34b 2134b um, as, so as you can see traders we had multiple trading opportunities now what I do want to um, show you here okay 225 225 now you would have been stopped on this trade and let me just show you this uh, over here I want to just point this out on the high time frame you can see that right there notice how price has accelerated away from the 8 EMA now remember you're going to get a pullback at some time now here you would have been stopped and remember uh, uh, the more trades in a trend the greater the chances for a pullback or a decent pullback and that was a question that was asked by a member and sorry I just uh, don't have the notes in front of me the emails in front of me but um, uh, remember the more trades in a trend the more likely the pullback however when you've got a 45 degree angle uh, and you can see mark the market moving you've just got to keep rolling the dice because remember where is price probably targeting your next pivot level okay so we can see here we're right there where is um, the, the trade most likely to go up to at least this level so that is why you always want to know where your pivots are if we're in a downtrend I want to know where my lower pivot is and the uptrend of course I want to know where my upper pivot is okay so uh, up we go so you would have been stopped on that one very easy remember you're not going to get them all but you've just had about five or six winning trades in a row you got stopped on that one then um, uh, these are just plain vanilla entries one here one here now we get up to the top here so what have we got so we've punched through and um, uh, let's just have a look at this here is a potential let me just show you this here trade this is a potential t3 look how price has accelerated through I'm still very over uh, bought on my long-term stochastic now some of you may have taken this trade if you did take this counter trend trade you would have been stopped on that one if we look over here you have virtually got a, a pivot bounce here on the higher time frame it's come back everything still is really accelerating now this is something I've mentioned in videos um, uh, in, the, in the past here's what you want to be very very careful of is remember you want to make sure that if the market is accelerating away and let me just draw this trend line here let me do a parallel I just want to show you this uh, here we go and what I'm gonna to have to do is just turn this off this is something you want to be really cautious of okay here we've got it here and let's just go back here traders remember I talk about angulation if you're going to take a counter trend trade you really ideally you want to see price moving well out now remember with channel bounces and let's have a look here all I've done is simply taken the fractal points there there and drawn it there that's gone through done a parallel and look at this see our price action is bouncing between the channel now finally we get up the top here at this pivot level we bounce again where would be the logical place for that to come that bounce to let me just extend that right my most logical point is this to bounce down to here here eventually it does so up here you could short the market okay as you could short it here but what you got to remember here is that you don't have very very far to go okay that is you want to have very tight targets because there's a very good chance you're going to bounce at this channel didn't quite hit it it then continued okay you could have your target up here at the um, uh, of course your upper channel we then get a bounce this also happens to be a t3 so let me just show you this on the higher time frame and to do that traders I need to just go back to pointer tracking back to global let me just show you this let me just get it so you can see it sorry just up the top here okay so we can see we've punched through the pivot we're at the upper channel and look at this here see our price has accelerated away from the eight you could short there now where is your logical stop well I always recommend as you know we put our stop two ticks above our swing high so our stop would be there stop would be there it's going to be above here 
so we've come down we've have it had a pivot bounce okay you can see here we've come down you've now got a t7 set up your stop of course is two ticks above there this ticks up one tick above so you're kept in the trade and let me just show you this over here on your higher time frame you had a t7 as well so you've got a t7 here on your entry chart you've got a t7 on your higher time frame and away you go okay and then of course we had a t20 and you can see here then the channel is broken but what I'd really recommend is you really get used to drawing in your channels now you may be thinking do I have enough time or remembering if you're focusing just on trend trades for an example or the major or bounces off the channel you've got plenty of time to draw these and remember this is over a period of what about this is over from down here about half an hour now I will point out um, this here was from the market open now I always recommend when the market first opens at uh, 9 30 here the first 15 minutes can be what I call the killing fields <laughs> you can you can twist and turn very very quickly so I recommend be very very cautious in trading the first 15 minutes of the market open so anyway if you had have been in here we've got a nice uh, uh, turn around the 10 a.m. turning point up here anyway so you've come down now here uh, what have we got here over here you can see we had a t3 and a 34b on the higher time frame you got a lovely entry here notice the angulation as well and so there is a, a really nice entry now notice they have a bubble formation here you've you've gone down and notice how my long-term stochastic is is oversold here so we've gone down nice counter trend trade uh, we've got it here on the higher time frame now what I wanted to show you was this what about this for a short be very careful in trading against t3s because remember they quite often go up and and you know they'll react a little now so you can see here it's gone up little pullback gone up again failed then it's come down just be careful of the first trade entry you get against t3s t89s divergence trades etc many many of these fail and even if you look down here you had one here even though it still would have delivered you would have uh, still picked up 10 ticks out of that it did fail not long after now here we ended up getting a nice t7 now what I wanted to point out is notice the candle here for an entry here if you look at this here the entry candles over on your higher time frame the eight EMA had turned up all of the candles were pointing up to go towards the pivot so in other words if you had have taken this the higher time frame was actually against you at that stage okay this is where you want to be really patient now then if you had have given that one a miss if you had have taken it by the way you would have been stopped but look over here on the high time frame we come over here another couple more candles and let me just perhaps move this over a bit more for you so there we're in we'd already had one reversal candle now we've got an engulfing candle okay this is a really good entry reversal you've had a t20 this is your first pullback after your t20 it's now going in your direction where this one look at these this was against this trade you would have been stopped now we've got our entry okay this is where the higher time frame can really be powerful for you and I haven't been emphasizing this and once again patient trader um, uh, this is <laughs> really he really I suppose was prompted me into making sure I show more of these now down here we've got uh, an 89b and what's interesting here let me just show you this on the higher time frame we actually on the higher time frame you've got an, an 89b so you've got sorry a 200b on the entry chart 89 on the higher and away we go so traders we're up to uh, nearly 24 uh, minutes on this so I don't want to keep going let's just quickly scroll along here okay you're stopped on one down here but you had four or five winners before then all right you got a nice 225 there you can see there traders now uh, here you've got uh, look at this here you actually uh, I can tell you now without it you would have had divergence on this 
but notice price section gapping away from our higher time frame now these aren't exactly in sync now this is a 377 tick this is a range I don't like using um, the range candles for my high time frame personal preference okay so I've still got a, a 377 tick for me it just I, I just find it works well um, but once again you've got to do some testing for yourself always verify so here you've got a nice t3 on the high time frame not really a t3 here but you did or you would have had divergence you then got a of course your t20 and traders here's your first pullback and once again if you get a t20 and your entry is too far down because there it is there actually if you're too far away wait for your first pullback okay profit taking pull back then you enter okay so let's just uh, scroll along we're still uh, Thursday morning oh, sorry Friday Friday morning let's just quickly scroll along okay so you've got lots of trades uh, coming down here once again let me just scroll along here here look at this on my high time frame all the EMAs, EMAs let me get this right sorry heading down what have I got here I've got a t3 bounce on the 200 separation here t3 on the entry let's put the farm on it only joking okay and then we go up now what have I said about the first trade after a t3 or a t89 extreme caution and here it is here we've got our classic 34b you would have been in remember only down here close under your eight and of course it bounced against you so this is what I mean be very careful very cautious in trading against these mean reversion trades all right then you got your uh, of course you've got a t20 here up t21 225 and what have we got here over here we've got our classic okay t3 again look at the higher time frame we've accelerated right away closed under my eight we're in so uh, what are we up to we're up to about one o'clock traders I'll I'll actually recap the uh, ES on a separate video because we're just going to run out of time we're nearly up to 30 minutes uh, so once again here you've um, gone up uh, here it is there again okay t3 went up there trade against it, it would have failed that's what I mean you've got to really watch these and if we look at our higher time frame let me just get across here a little bit so you can see it over here there it is there okay bounce on the 200 and away we go all right then you're getting some uh, some bounces around the pivot your classic pullback 34b 89 200b you go up here we've got then our classic t3 again so traders as you can see here there was just uh, so many trades there and you know traders sometimes say to me why do I have so many strategies and so many setups well 12 to 14 different setups or strategies and a lot of these will confirm at the same time sometimes you'll have two or three will confirm at the same time but just as a carpenter has a range of tools or a mechanic a range of tools for doing a job as traders we need to have a range of strategies and setups for different market conditions but what is really important here traders is that virtually every one of these setups are patterns geometric patterns that appear in the market on every market every time frame now remembering what happens on our higher time frame the patterns and even the candlestick formations are more reliable than the lower time frame because on the lower time frame you're going to have a lot more noise than what you do on your higher time frame however remembering we always use the entry chart for our main signals that's really important so for those that are once again new to my channel please subscribe to my channel go to my site get more information obtain more information on the day traders fast track program $197 a best investment um, you'll ever make and wait until you see the new website that's about to come out and the members area it's incredible so traders thank you very much and I'm going to go and do an ES recap now as well so I'll post that in the uh, general public area as well on the general area on YouTube I should say thank you traders see you on the next video